being perfect, like hitting the best notes and how long can I hold this one out and um, that kind of stuff. And then getting to be on the producing side and producing my own vocals uh, to sit and listen to things that were imperfect that had such an emotion behind them versus things that were perfect, but that's, it was just shiny and pretty, right? Um, it was such an epiphany uh, as a vocalist um, to kind of hear that and, I don't know, work on things that were more nuanced and made you feel more. So you talk about that experience with a lot of self-awareness. In the producing world, are you still looking and needing for someone to be critical when it's required, encouraging when it's required to give you honest feedback? Or are you so self-aware that you're like, no, I hear that, I got it. I feel like I'm critical enough, to be honest, mm -hmm. of myself, mm -hmm. um, that encouragement is good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and mainly, I don't even know if it's encouragement, it's more someone to stand with me, you know, and, and to, I don't need anyone to push me, I just need someone to, I need someone to stand with me. And if I throw an idea out, you know, obviously you want someone to be honest, and if it's a terrible idea, say, eh, maybe not. Um, but, you know, on those things that are a little more risky, you know, it's nice to have someone that's got your back. Did you enjoy the process so much that you would think about doing it for another artist? Um, not right now. Um, I'll never say never, but again, time is such a, an issue and it's such a commitment that, again, I won't do anything if I, I'll never slap my name on something to like give somebody a boost or make it appear I did more than I did because that's just not, that's not me at all. So maybe someday, um, but right now I feel like I'll, I'll worry about this, this, this career and this, these albums, um, but maybe someday.